very exciting vlog you're actually already getting a little bit of a sneak peek so don't really look at the background i have to thank today's sponsor which is anna louisa jewelry i'm so excited to be working with them again i have worked with them a couple of times in the past actually and i am obsessed with their stuff i've been wearing their jewelry constantly not only am i a huge fan of their products but also what they stand for and like their main mission their main goal is sustainability and the month of september is actually anna louisa's like dedicated sustainability month so let me tell you how they create their jewelry in a sustainable manner. So first of all, they release limited quantities of jewelry every single week in order to minimize waste, but they also use recycled materials. So like recycled gold and silver, they actually have silver jewelry right now as well. So I might have to check that out soon too. And the recycled metal actually comes from electronic components or from already worn jewelry. Besides that, their diamonds are actually lab grown diamonds because the mining of them is not very environmental friendly. So I'm wearing some of my favorite pieces right now and I'm gonna show you what they just sent me as well. I really wanted to have a simplistic necklace as well, like this one with a beautiful tulip on it or I have one with a hand. Those are stunning as well, but sometimes you just want something super simplistic or maybe you need like a second necklace to add on. And this one is just like a chain necklace is perfect for that. I think these earrings are my new favorites. I don't really know how to describe them them, but they look like this. How would you call this? Like little clips? I think they look so cool. They're like tiny statement earrings and I have been wearing these nonstop. And then lastly, I have to grab the last pair that they sent me, but it's somewhere else in the room. <laughs> okay, I got them. Usually I only wear gold jewelry, but these earrings are just perfect. And they have that little bit of like extra color. I think the green looks so pretty and I guess you can tell that I love green as well. I would highly recommend you to check out Anna Luisa's jewelry as well. If you like very pretty jewelry and their sustainability mission, please go and check out the link in my description. And don't forget to use my code BOOKNOOK10 to save 10% off of your entire order. Thank you so much again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, today is the 31st of August 2021 and within less than a week I officially start my second bachelor's degree of psychology and I'm scared, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's so strange because I'll be with a lot of first year students who are actually studying for the first year while this is my fifth year. That's so crazy to say. Oh my God, that makes me feel so old. But I'm excited, like I said. I'm very curious and I'm just so happy that I will finally be studying something that I hopefully will really enjoy. But that's not really what today's vlog is about. I am moving some more stuff to my dorm today. A lot of the like big furniture is actually already there. I'm figuring out today what I need to bring with me. I also will be taking my lovely reading chair with me. I just feel a bit sentimental and like nostalgic and weird. It's just, <sighs> I'm gonna pick it down by the way. It's just so weird because COVID happened and life slowed down and you were stuck at home. You weren't really doing a lot of things. And then now all of a sudden I am moving to a different city. I'm going studying again. Unfortunately though, my lectures will all still be online. I literally only have to be physically at school once, maybe twice a week. I do feel a bit sad about that. I really, really wish that I could see a lecturer and follow it physically and not having to stare at a screen. But you know, what can you do about it? <laughs> so yeah, let's move my stuff, I guess. <laughs>
Okay, so I made it in my dorm. There are a couple of people coming in the next hour, hopefully to adjust some things on the floor here. So in the meantime, I'm going to put away a couple of things in the kitchen and then I will get back to you and I'll be decorating my dorm a bit more. I have lots of things to unpack. So let's fix that. And then tonight I will be driving home all by myself. <laughs> but I will give you like a quick overview of what my room looks like right now. And then we'll redecorate together for what I have until so far. I still need to like bring a lot of my clothes here and I really wanna hang a couple of things on my walls. But this is my dorm for right now with all of the mess. <laughs> I will be putting some plants here and there because I brought them with me. Of course, I need some greenery in this room. I have a little rug, so I'm gonna make it all cozy and it's gonna become even more cozy when I'm actually gonna live here and be here for the rest of the week, which starts from next week on, which is so exciting. <laughs> charge so i'm going to speed through this like pre-starting university dorm tour and i'm really happy with how it turned out of course a lot of things need to be tweaked and a couple of things need to be added but this is what my dorm looks like right now So we enter the room and then here I have my desk. Don't mind this stuff, we'll probably be painting the kitchen in the next upcoming two weeks, hence why it is still over there. <laughs> so don't look at that, but I got this adorable plant from one of my colleagues at my barista job, which I unfortunately had to quit. This is my desk and my desk chair. They are both from Ikea. On the top, we have some hanging plants and I have this super cute drawer thing. Over here, I made this like super cozy corner. I still want to add another mirror because on the top it's still very empty but a cute rotten mirror we have some dried flowers and this beautiful plant that i got for my boss i am absolutely obsessed with my bedding it is like a galaxy and i love it so much over here i have my sink and i still want to like add a plant or it's just a bit messy over here right now. Here I have my reading chair and this is like where I'll be putting my clothes and everything. And for now, I also have a mirror. I have my little espresso machine here, but I want to make a like drinking station right next to my desk. Plus I want some bookshelves over here and curtains. So we still have lots of work to do. So right now I'll be driving home. Me and my boyfriend will be back tomorrow probably. And then on Thursday, I'll be visiting the city, doing some shopping, going to coffee shops, actual coffee shops, not the weed kind. <laughs> I did my makeup, I'm dressed, ready to go to miss. <laughs>
<laughs> Andere kant ja, inderdaad. Soms <laughs> dorm and I'll show you a little bit what I bought at the city center. I found it so awkward to vlog in public. I didn't say anything, but I think I got some nice footage. Um, I bought a couple of things at Dilla and Camille, which is like, um, I don't know how you'd call it. Oh wait, my camera is completely, okay, now it's good. Um, it's like a super cozy store that sells a lot of like stuff for your kitchen and it's so cozy. Unfortunately, I felt a bit awkward to film inside there. So I only filmed the outside, but I got a pitcher to steam my milk in with my espresso machine but it's quite a big one so i don't know how it'll fit and i bought these cute little mugs because i think they would be perfect for a cappuccino so i'm putting these on the machine so that when it's on it will like heat the mugs automatically so that's a nice feature i also got this little like teacup thing that you put your tea back on when you're done with like putting it in your hot water and besides that what else did i get i'm so confused right now oh yeah as you saw i went to bruce which is like the biggest bookstore here in Utrecht and it's definitely gonna become one of my new favorite spots that I will be book shopping at. There were so many amazing girls who were like wandering the bookshop and who were like buying all these amazing books and I got to talk to them so I mean of course I had to buy myself a little welcome to Utrecht book. Let's unbox it for you. It is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I mean, this one is so, po it was already popular, but now because of TikTok, it's really becoming even more popular. And I usually am not a big fan of like Greek mythology, but it's very light on the Greek mythology factor. And I think it's more of like a romance-based book. So I had been keeping an eye out for this one. So I was at Bruce and I was like, I gotta take this opportunity, support the bookstore and get myself this beautiful copy because I think it would be really nice to make like a reading TikTok books, I guess. I mean, it's not a very unique concept anymore, but I still think it's very fun. I'm just really unsure of whether I will like it, but we shall see about that. Now we are gonna go back home and I will talk to you guys there. Bye. So, <laughs> As you can see, I'm not back home. It's been two weeks or something since I last filmed that clip. I've actually had my first week of uni already and I'm planning on uploading a vlog about that as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that too. But I am just very curious, excited to see what will come within the next couple of years that I'm studying psychology here. I already feel so at home and I haven't had that before with a previous dorm or with my previous study. I really hope that everyone who is going to uni as well or doing like a secondary degree, I hope that everything will be all right and that you will find your own space as well and that you will feel at home too. It is difficult but now that I am a little bit older, I can definitely see that it's also up to you to make the best of your time. And with my previous study, I was constantly like waiting for something to happen to me. And that is just not how life works, I guess. I'm really trying to get outside of my comfort zone and I'm very proud of what I have done until so far, whilst also still remaining the person who I am today, which all sounds very spiritual and stuff. But when you're going through life changes, it can be very challenging. <laughs> Just remember that it won't always be shitty. There are so many fun things as well. It won't always be hard. I don't know what kind of point I'm trying to make with this. I'm just hopeful and excited to see what the future will bring me. And I hope that you will be there with me along the journey. So yes. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's jewelry and my code. Link is in the bio and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.